In this lesson, we're going to use trigonometry to calculate lengths and angles in a cube. We're going to calculate the length A to C. Now to do this, we're going to visualize A to C as a right angle triangle, where the right angle is at B because the face of it is a rectangle. So, we have our right angle triangle where A to C is the hypotenuse, B is the right angle, and A to B is two centimeters, and B to C is also two. So we can calculate the length A to C using Pythagoras' theorem. So A to C squared equals two squared, which is A to B, plus two squared, which is B to C. So A to C squared equals four plus four, which is eight, so A to C is the square root of 8, which is approximately 2.8 centimetres. Moving on, we're going to calculate the length A to G. And again, we're going to visualise A to G as a line in a right angle triangle, where the right angle now is at C, because we have a horizontal plane intersecting with a vertical plane. So we have our right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is A to G. The base is A to C. And the vertical is C to G. Now we've already worked out A to C as approximately 2.8 centimeters. And we know G to C is the same as A to E which is two centimeters. So again, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the hypotenuse A to G. So A to G squared equals 2.8 squared, which is A to C, plus two squared, which is C to G. So A to G squared is approximately, when we add these two together, we get approximately 12. And we do the square root of 12 to work out A to G, and that is approximately 3.46 centimeters. And finally, angle C to A to G. We'll show an angle as part of a right angle triangle, C to A to G. We're gonna call it theta, and we know our right angle is again at C. So we'll sketch our right angle triangle, a to C to G. We've already worked out A to C as approximately 2.8. And we know C to G is still 2. And we're going to work out theta. So we're going to use so ka toa. And this is a way of remembering which sine, cosine, or tangent to use. And because we've got the opposite side and the adjacent side, we're going to use tan. So the tangent of the angle theta is the opposite divided by the adjacent. So tangent of theta is two divided by 2.8. Now to work out theta, we're going to do the inverse of tan, which, which is called arc tan. And we're doing this to both sides. So theta is arc tan of 2 divided by 2.8 and that comes out as about 51 degrees. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that useful and check out mrmathematics.com for more lessons and maths worksheets.